Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how to create ultra soft light without the use of conventional modifiers. So let's put this premise out there. Basically, whenever I light, I light with a purpose. So even with my choice of modifiers, or in this case, the lack thereof of a mod modifier, I always make sure that I want to blend entirely with the scene. Same as what you can see here in the back. This is a backdrop that I'm using. It's from Kate Backdrop. It, they call this a sweep. It's a five foot by 10 foot backdrop. It's made out of wrinkle free fabric, non-reflective. That's why I love it so much because it's so easy to store. And at the same time, it's very easy to put together. Now, as you can see, it was rendered in such a way that the lighting is very, very soft. So therefore now, if I'm gonna shoot with it, I'm not gonna shoot with harsh light, but I'm gonna shoot with soft light. Now I can bring in my big modifiers, of course, and create that soft light. But in this particular video, I wanted to show you guys that it can be done without those really expensive large modifiers. All right, so how am I supposed to create ultra soft light using no modifier? In other words, I will be using this entire room as a modifier. So I have my Photix Indra 500 here on the right side. It's just basically facing the wall, but I face it in such a way that the direction, the bounce of the light will bounce back to this, to this, to the backdrop itself. So basically what we're doing is that we're creating a really, really big light source from this Photix Indra, which is a standard reflector. So that's gonna be the light that I'm gonna be using. This Photix Indra 500 has been my workhorse since 2016 um, or 2015, I think. It's a TTL trigger, it's a studio strobe, but battery operated. So it's capable of high speed sync and uh, I can control everything from my camera using this one, the Photix Odin 2. This trigger was specifically made for my camera to be able to talk wirelessly to the flash. From here, I can control everything, like if I wanna make it high speed sync, control the power, turn on my modeling light, turn it off, basically everything that I want to do with my flash, I can do with my trigger here. The camera that I will be using will be my Sony A7R Mark IV with a 50mm 1.4 Carl Zeiss lens. Now the reason why I chose the 50mm 1.4 is because for this particular scene I want to be able to do a full body shot of my subject. Now you guys are probably seeing exactly what my camera is seeing through the help of my Hollyland Mars 300 Pro transmitter which basically transmits a Wi-Fi signal that's picked up by my phone and I am now recording here everything that my camera is seeing. So now let's start off with the settings. Um, I am actually going to be shooting at 1 over 400 f1.4 ISO 100 as you can see here. Now the reason why I am doing that is because I want to be able to remove all existing ambient light. Now I will show you what you are seeing now is basically not what my camera settings are because my live view is automatically turned off every time I put a TTL trigger such as my Photix Odin 2. So I actually put a, a shortcut button here in the back as one of my custom functions. If you guys want to know more about this, I'll put a link in the description below. It's a fantastic camera hack. So if I press it, look what's gonna happen. Everything's just gonna be pitch black. So that is my actual ambient light exposure. So all the light that we are getting now is coming from my Photix Indra 500. I am at one over 400, so I am actually shooting on high speed sync. I can actually bring it down to one over 250, which is the flash sync speed of my camera or for some other, for some other more affordable triggers, it's at actually one over 160. So we'll keep it at one over 160 and see what will happen to my ambient light. So you could still see a bit of light leak, which is not something that I want to happen because I want it to be pitch black. I want all my light coming from my Photix Indra. Now you could say that you could just stop down on your, on your aperture. I'll put, as, I, as you guys can see now, I've set it at F4 and now we're pitch black. So 
if you don't have a flash that's capable of TTL, you could actually stay within your flash sync speed and maybe just increase your aperture. Then you're gonna get everything sharp. But for this particular scene, I want to blur out a bit of the background so that it's not a distraction, but rather it complements the image that I want to create. So I'll put it now at f1.4 again, put my shutter speed at f at 1 over 400, and then check it again, and there, now we're pitch black. Okay, now, my white balance is set at 5600 Kelvin, which is daylight, daylight, basically the color of daylight. And most flash units are set at 5600 Kelvin. So you can actually play around on the white balance that you want. If you want it warmer or, or cooler, it really depends on your personal preference or personal taste. Now I also have my DRO, which is dynamic range optimizer set that uh, turned off because I don't want it to um, compensate for my highlights or my shadows. I just want the light that I'm getting from my studio strobe and how I set it because everything is controlled. Now, my ISO is set at 100 and my camera is set at RAW plus JPEG. Okay, so I guess it's time for us to start shooting and I want to call in my very cute model. Come here, Wana. Hi, Wana. Hi. Say hi to everyone. The camera's over there. Yes. So Juana's my second daughter and I have been having a blast shooting her. And this particular backdrop from Kate Backdrop, as I said earlier, is five foot by 10 foot. So the, the back part is about six feet tall and the flooring is about four feet tall, uh, four feet deep, which makes it now perfect to shoot kids or people that are sitting down. Okay, all right, Juana, all right, follow mommy. What does mommy do whenever we're posing? One, two, three, and look at the camera, remember? There we go, very nice, Juana. Beautiful, beautiful shots. So everything that you're actually seeing is straight from my camera, no edit has been done. So getting the light right in camera is always gonna be fantastic because immediately I can post this afterwards. All right, Juana, smile. Very nice, I love it, Juana. Perfect, let's do a few more, Juana. Okay, change it up, you know how to post. Very nice, I love it, some more. Very nice, very good, Wana. How about you do this, Wana? Take one step back. There is one downside though with using a battery operated flash, as you guys can see. It doesn't really um, recycle as fast as you want it, especially when you're shooting kids. But that's also because I'm shooting at full power and high speed sync. So I'm really taking a lot out of the battery. Okay, Wana, step back. All right, perfect. Very nice, Wana. Good job, good job. Some more. Okay, next post, Wana. So you just have to be aware and listen to listen to the to the flash beeping so that you can see there. Beautiful. All right, let's see how let's see how sharp this is. Man, look at how sharp that is. Lovely. Okay, Wana. Let's do a few more. No, I don't like that. Another one. There. Good. Good. Very nice. One more. Very nice, very pretty, Wana. Good. Good. All right, very, very nice, Wana. Very, very nice. So you guys, have you, you guys noticed that the light that I am actually creating is very similar to the light that is printed on my backdrop? And that is what I said earlier. It's very essential. Whenever you're adding artificial light, make sure that that artificial light matches the color and the quality of your existing ambient light to make it look as seamless as possible. It's a, this one's a very short video, very, very simple. You could create ultra soft light anywhere with just a single white wall, bounce it off, just let go of control and just create one big broad light, one big broad soft light actually that is always gonna be very pleasing for your subjects. It might not give you the dramatic images that you're looking for or maybe, oh no, it might not give you the drama but it's gonna give you fantastic clean images at no expense whatsoever. So all you need is just one light. Okay, did you have fun, Wana? So I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very simple video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you guys wanna see more of my images, you can find me on Instagram, it's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video. Nice. All right, very good, very, very nice. 
Very nice, Juana. Good job. Good job. Give me five. All right.